Hi everyone, uh, today we are going to discuss about the diet plan or the routine of the lactating mothers. Okay, uh, this is how we follow list of concoctions, diet plan with millets, exercise, and what to avoid. Okay, first uh, looking at the concoction part, uh, you have to make a concoction with chrysanthemum leaves. Okay, uh, take uh, one big leaf that is sufficient okay to make concoction and lemongrass take one or two okay leaves of lemongrass to make concoction next is mint leaves uh, take six to seven mint leaves to make concoction next is uh, rosella leaves take uh, seven to seven leaves six to seven okay because they are uh, uh, sore in nature okay that's why don't take many and if you are not diabetic you can uh, add uh, palm jaggery in the kashaya in the concoction okay so this is the plan of concoction first week uh, chrysanthemum leaves second week lemon grass third week mint leaves fourth week canna for rosella leaves okay take each variety per week and you have to consume it on, on empty stomach okay Empty stomach means you can drink water. Okay, if you are habituated to drink water, you can have water on empty stomach. Okay, if you take one liter of water, wait for one hour, and then have concoction. If you are consuming one and a half liter of water early in the morning, wait for one and a half hour, and then have con concoction like that. Okay, and repeat this cycle after the fourth week. You you should have go back to first week. Okay. And 45 minutes to one hour gap is needed between concoction and the next meal. Okay. Oh, sorry. Next, uh, little millet. You have to take it for three days. Okay. If you are eating uh, three times a uh, day, then uh, at least two times you have to take, consume little millets. Okay. You shouldn't consume rice or. Uh, uh, what to say? Mm, wheat products, okay. Millet pro all millet products only you can consume, okay. So at least two meals you should have little millets, okay. Koda millet also in the same way for one day, barnyard for one day, fox tail for one day, brown top for one day. And uh, I told you only two times, right? The last meal you can have with parallel millet. Okay. If you are taking four meals, three meals with the positive grains. Okay. Positive <coughs> grains. One meal with the parallel millet. Okay. Parallel millet is uh, very much needed uh, for lactating mothers. Okay. So daily once you, you should have parallel millet either in roti form. Or in um, rice form, whatever the form you can take, you can take. You have to take parallel millet. Okay. So this is the diet plan. Eat these millets alternately for the seven-day schedule. I am talking about positive grains: uh, foxtail, brown top, kodo, barnyard, and little. Okay. These these you should change, but parallel millet you should uh, take it daily, one time. Okay. And repeat the sequence: no rice product, no bread, no wheat product. Okay, use only wood pressed oils or bull driven oils. Okay, so how to cook millet? Uh, either you can cook it like rice or make millet porridge. How to cook it like rice? Add three glasses of water for one glass of millets. Soak it for eight hours. Cook it eat either on open top, a vessel, or in a pressure cooker. Okay, avoid pressure cooking if you have enough time. Making millet porridge, use either granulated millets or whole millets. Add six to eight glasses of water for one glass of millets. If you want, you can add ten glasses of water also. If you want to make it more watery, you add ten glasses of water also. That is your wish. Soak it for eight hours. Okay, soaking is essential. Cook it on a open top vessel. Once it is cooked, let it become cooled by opening the top. Uh, top okay, opening the lid. And then tie the top of the uh, vessel using a cotton cloth. Once it is cooled down, okay. And keep it aside for eight to ten hours. 
to get it fermented okay and then have it uh, if it is summer in the summer season uh, let it be fermented only for 6 to 7 hours okay 6 to 7 hours is sufficient in the summer season and the special instructions uh, consume um, 4 to 5 castor seeds twice or thrice a week after removing the outer shell of the seed okay you have to remove the husk or outer cover and then consume the, those seeds only 4 to 5 okay twice a week or thrice a week and foxtail millet has a tendency to reduce the production of milk in a few lactating mothers okay if we have the tendency you should avoid foxtail millet completely okay uh, remove foxtail millets use only other four uh, positive grains okay and you can have that pearl millet no problem consume can of dal can of pickle and other pickles too regularly that is roselle can of is nothing but roselle okay you have to consume pickles alternatively not uh, not the same pickle every day okay but this roselle is very important for you okay uh, whatever the curries you are making you can add uh, roselle also okay or otherwise uh, have uh, uh, this uh, green leafy vegetables uh, once in a meal that too preferably in the afternoon uh, better to make curry with uh, mm, uh, which we, uh, curry with uh, green leafy vegetables okay you can find those uh, curries in my channel also okay healthy way of cooking I told you in uh, some other video I will put that link in the description below okay so uh, coming to the exercise if there is no problem if there is no pain okay and uh, if, if you have uh, if, uh, if your delivery is normal then uh, then after two days rest you can start walking okay two days is also two days is more than sufficient okay if the delivery is normal walk for one hour in a day okay and increase your walking time slowly day by day okay and if it is cesarean if you do not have pain then you have to walk okay it depends the first exercise you have to start is walking okay in the food foods to avoid milk and all dairy products no need actually you can consume curd okay not milk milk is not good but you can consume curd okay and ghee also no problem with ghee also the preferably cow ghee rice and wheat products that too homemade if you are consuming ghee that should be homemade okay rice and wheat products you have to uh, avoid refined oils sugar and jaggery also okay you can have palm jaggery or dates and natural honey if you get it okay if you are not diabetic you can have all these three as the alternatives for sugar and jaggery wheat powder and refined wheat powder tea coffee all bakery products all polished millets are refined millets okay non vegetarian food cool drinks pizzas uh, burgers pastas noodles all canned foods and all ready to eat foods okay these you have to uh, avoid okay and you can have uh, that uh, ragi millet laddu or uh, sesame seed laddu okay uh, thrice thrice a week thrice or four times a week okay have one laddu made up of uh, palm jaggery or dates okay now we are going to look at how to make uh, concoction using uh, roselle leaves okay and the procedure is same for each and every leaf okay first we need to boil the water okay with on a low flame okay once uh, the water gets boiled okay a little bit uh, you can add uh, roselle leaves okay four to five of this size and then you have to close the lid immediately you have to close the lid let it, then let it boil for uh, uh, three to four minutes okay on a low flame okay so it got boiled now you have to keep it aside for uh, uh, three to four minutes okay 
then you have to filter it now you can see it got filtered using that filter okay and that is remaining waste and this is the water okay this you have to drink sip by sip using a spoon Shish. see how beautiful this nature is you also start planting the trees let us bring a new change in our society let us plant the trees and let others plant the trees let's take this pledge seriously from now thank you